some more on this then from uh, Alice Denby, who's deputy editor of the uh, Capex political newspaper. Alice, um, big day for uh, another big day for Liz Truss <laughs> in the Commons this time. Hopefully, she, she'll be hoping to perform better in PMQs than she did on Monday. Yeah, I mean, who would have this job at the moment? It's a really unenviable position for her. I think. Um, uh, I think it was Michael Gove who said that her, the job of Prime Minister is now a job share between Jeremy Hunt and the bond markets. Um, so she's going to have to somehow stamp her authority and, and, and show her backbenchers that she's in charge. They're in a mutinous mood. It'll be, you know, punchy stuff to watch, I imagine. I suppose what will be difficult for her to justify is even though she's apologised, people will say, yes, but you showed a lack of judgement in having pushed this agenda when even in spite of all of the pressure to, to reverse it. And she only apologised at the point where she was basically being shown the door. I mean, yeah. that's, that's the attack, surely, that Labour's going to take to her today. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's difficult to see where her credibility lies now. She stamped, she, you know, her whole leadership pitch was on this economic prospectus, which has blown up in her face. The, the markets hate it. <laughs> um, uh, so it's very difficult to see how her position is tenable. But, but that said, I mean, Tory MPs know that divided parties don't win elections. They know, I mean, <laughs> despite all the kind of poisonous briefings you're seeing in the papers, MPs are in that job to make changes, to, to deliver things and to win elections. And they've been in a very bad position to do the former for many years with all this infighting, with so many unforced errors. And now with the polls as they are, they're looking in a very bad position to do the latter. So they've got a big decision to make, I think. Yeah, you were saying that Liz Truss needs to stamp her authority. She has to create that authority in the first place. A lot of people think she doesn't have the authority now and that she's just, you know, in office but not in power. I think she's bought some breathing space by, you know, sort of giving this blood sacrifice of her chancellor to the markets. Um, Jeremy Hunt has clearly done what he can to calm the situation down. And I think she's bought some time until we get the next fiscal event, that the Halloween shocker, whatever it's going to be. Um, and MPs will have to decide if they do want a change of leader. They're going to be having to weigh up, how's that going to look to the electorate, a party this divided, that can't get itself together, that's been incapable of governing and uniting around a leader for years, mm. um, versus the risk of going into an election with her as leader. This is what they'll have to be weighing. And the mechanism by which they do it. I mean... We can't have another six-week leadership election going to the members. Yeah. And presumably people will feel a coronation is undemocratic and no Conservative MP is going to vote <laughs> for a general election because of the polls at the moment. So, you, you know, it's hard to see where they go. And as we saw with um, the defenestration of Boris Johnson, if you don't have an obvious successor, then you end up in trouble. So, mm. you know, people are talking about Rishi Sunak. Well, he didn't win last time. Um, nor did Penny Mordaunt, and Jeremy Hunt did very poorly in this elite leadership election, albeit he's in a very powerful position now. So it's very difficult to see where we go from here. Um, but I think, I think the country will just be hoping that they can get on with it and actually govern for a bit, because we haven't had stable, sensible government since what, when? Yeah. Well, this year, certainly, it's been very tumultuous, hasn't it?